Corruption. I am your host, Jihad the Devil Sullivan, the owner of this company, joined alongside by your Wednesday... Your Wednesday night second-rate champion and false facts falsifier of news, right E. Now. My Knightley. <clears throat> Bastard. Hey, what's that? You said Midas, Midas, Jack Crisp, and Billard are all bastards, and you want to fight them all at the same time? Oh fuck yourself. We're here on Monday night, so we're going to... As you know, this, this host of yours is known for screwing people over. I give opportunity. Oh, yeah, sure. Opportunity. Yeah, opportunity to screw people over. The opportunity to succeed. As long as you're respectful, which you are not. <laughs> In this business, you need to be respectful and pay your dues. If not, you'll get taught your dues. Everybody, welcome to Cincinnati, Ohio. Or if you're in Ema, if you're in Emi's shoes, welcome to Cincinnati, oh Emio. No. Well, we're gonna simulate that first segment. Well, up next, <clears throat> right out of the gate, we have an ultra-violent title match. It's like the 24-7 title, except actually good. <clears throat> so here we go. Tonight, uh, Nunz Little Guido, uh, has to defend his title. Uh, well, Emi, you're about the same level as Guido. Maybe you could watch him and learn something. I mean, he is a veteran. <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's for you, my friend. That's for you to do. Better yet, you'll probably just screw the guy over. Well, you better get on YouTube and actually find it. Oh, yeah. I'll, uh -huh. No, I'll send it out before we start. Yeah, you should have done that before you started. You can't do it before you start, idiot. There, I sent it to you in private. I sent it right to your penis. <clears throat> you got it, Emi? Yeah, I did not know we were doing it this early. You what? So I didn't know we were doing it this early. Doing what this early? You are at the show. Bitch, I already announced it. I told you we were doing it. Yeah, you said six. Yeah. It's four right now. Six for me. Uh, Don't make me slap you right in your penis, see, my. Uh, you cannot do that. What's that? Re signing Mr. Herbert to a contract? What's that? Burn Mr. Herbert? You want to fight Mr. Herbert? Well, I'll be sure to try to recruit him now. We have a slot oh, open. You bastard. We have a corruption. We have a dis, uh, ammunition slot open now. Well, here yeah. we go. Little Guido you is gonna. Little Guido is gonna kick off the night defending his title. Chuck Palumbo says, 
the FBI remained strong. Well, apparently, apparently, Shock Pastor forgot to pay the light bill. Nope, there it goes. And the first man to come out and challenge Guido, Psycho Clown. Clown the Psychos. The former champion himself, former three time ultraviolet champion from Lucha Libre AAA Mexico. <clears throat> Well, we got a guy here later tonight who's on that trail. Luchadora. And up next is the next person who's going to challenge him. Your old friend, Nighthawk. We haven't seen him since Catalyst when he lost to the Golden Ace. And he'll never again get to fight the Golden Ace as the Golden Ace is officially retired. I didn't screw him over. He lost to the free over in that match. You know what you was doing. Hey, you were the one in the ring with him. You were over here sitting, uh, playing with the other guy instead of pinning. That's why the freak's the champion and you're not. Playing. But right now, Nighthawk looking to pick up a title. You ain't got nothing to say about your mentor and buddy, Nighthawk? Uh, it's great to see him back in action. He's going to pick up that championship no matter what. I don't know if he's picking this championship up. And speaking of fun for Nighthawk, now Crazy D randomly showing up. I guess he saw Nighthawk and decided he's going to come out and challenge Little Guido. Why is this dude doing here? What? He's not even part of the match. Go away, clown. It's first come, first serve. We already got a clown in this building. It's first come, first serve. That's the nature of the title. But we already have a clown in this building. We already have a clown in this match. <clears throat> this match just got a lot more dangerous with him in it. Crazy D does not play, doesn't really care about winning. He just he was in the he was in the match with you at Rise to Glory. And just literally served as somebody to keep everybody else from winning. Now the clown's in the ring. We got Nighthawk and Psycho Clown out here as well.
Who's going to be next? Another member of the FBI, Tracy Smothers, as we skip ahead a little bit because, fuck it, he's an FBI guy. That's like one minute of our time. We can't, we can't, we get back. <clears throat> Tracy Smothers out here to back up his buddy Nuncio, aka Little Guido. And now this match is going to get serious because there's Cactus Jack. Marcus, shut up. And for a hardcore title. That's where this man is right at home. The hardcore legend himself on his way to the ring. The deathmatch legend himself, Cactus Jack. Cactus Jack is not somebody I'd want to have to be in that ring with. All these people coming out of the shadows due to an open challenge. Ultraviolet rules. Anywhere, anytime. And up next is the chairman, La Parca. Another clown. He's not a clown, he's a luchador. He's not a clown. Shut up, dummy. He is what I say he is. I'm about to send you out to, in a match tonight. expect to see a chair in this match now. And up next, one of your favorite competitors on Monday night coming to represent the Dudley boys, Big Dick Dudley. Look at the size of, of his muscles. No, 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 no. He's an extreme, he has an extremely big pair of pants. And just look at how his hair dangles from his gla or along his glasses. He is all about total penetration, power bombs. No. This dude sounds like he needs to change his name. <clears throat> he is one of the Dudley boys. And tonight he's looking to capture some gold. Yeah. With a name like that, they made him the dumbest of the Dudley boys. Really? Because I thought Dudley Dudley was the dumbest. No. What about Trash Can Dudley? No. The dude lived in a literal trash can. Better names than that, whatever his name is in this match. He's definitely not winning the match. Who's next? The champion. You mean the former soon-to-be champion? The, 
This man coming off coming off of his uh, match at <clears throat> the Pandora's Box match. He says the FBI owns Monday nights. Well, he's going to have to prove it now. And he says, if you think you're going to win, forget about it. <laughs> Here we go. Little Guido. He's in the ring. I'm skipping ahead. Here we go. Eight person match for the belt. Emi, you take over for a minute. I'm going to go grab some foodie. I'm going to go grab my late evening foodie call. This is. This is an over the top rope battle royal. With with Nutsio with those Nutsios on the corner, but Nuncio counters. You see the other two clowns over there trying to eliminate one another. The objective of the match, and there goes the game, man. And Cactus Jack has been eliminated by Big Dick Dudley. Big Dick Dudley to win. No, I do not. He is my hero. Actually, my pick in this match is going to have to be Psycho Clown. That's right, you should probably take out uh, Tracy Smothers. That, did you know that Tracy Smothers actually wrestled bears? Like real life bears. He trained for wrestling by wrestling bears. with a beautiful drop kick. Tracy Smothers trying to take out the clown. Nuzio tried to take out La Parca, but La Parca takes out the champ. We are 100% guaranteed a new champ. And Psycho Clown eliminated by Big Dick Dudley. Parka and and Big Dick Dudley take out Nighthawk. No. Big no. Dick, Big Dick Dudley, the All Star in this match. <laughs> I'll be right back. My food's here.
fighting in the ring. The park is going after Dudley. Smothers gonna pick up the straps and try to eliminate. No, Northern Light Suplex for no reason whatsoever. Tracy Smothers going for the big dick in the match. He just wants to. He just wants to stroke Mr. Dudley. Your words are not kind, sir. Tracy trying to take out the big man by lifting a leg. Look how big, look how big that Dick Dudley is. Just, Tracy could not get that man off his feet. Tracy smothers with a spine buster. And now LaParca going after smothers. Mothers eliminated down to Big Dick and La Parca. Big Dick deadly with some agility. You know how floppy those dicks can get, Eli. La Parca taking him down to the clothesline. Parker enjoying his uh, dance over there. Nice going, throwing hands at Big Dick, trying to brawl him out of here. And LaParka wins. <clears throat> LaParka is the chairman, is your new ultraviolet champion. Oh my God. We have a clown as a champion. He's not a clown. Oh, I'm sorry. A luchador clown. I say what I want to say. You better put some respect on people's names or I'm going to start sending them. I'm going to be sure I contact some people in the back for you. Congratulations to the luchador clown. <clears throat> Championship in FMW, folks. 
<clears throat> Thought this man might have to hang it up. What who are you booing at, you bitch? I come to your house to stab you tonight, you booing me. It's not a clown. <clears throat> I need to skip this promo. Up next, we have the King of Darkness, Evil who I will smother in his sleep tonight and take Io Shirai home with me. I will treat him like a pillow treated Daniel Benoit. You will tap, 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 tap out. You weren't for real enough. have a women's battle royal to determine who will face either Akane Yamamoto or Minami Toyota Becky, Lynch, Becky, I hope you get lynch mobbed is in this match. That's my favorite. Don't you talk smack about I that. said, Becky, I, I hope Hogan gets lynch mobbed in this match. Is in this match. What? Nighthawk does not like Hulk Hogan. <clears throat> Nobody likes Hulk Hogan. I don't think Hulk Hogan likes Hulk Hogan. He had to refer to his Terry Belay and Hulk Hogan as different people. Mine needs a butt floater. <clears throat> well, here we go. It's an eight women's battle royal match to determine the next number one contender for the belt. Emi is excited for is not because there's nobody that has a penis in the ring. Except wow. for Becky Lynch. Wow. Up first, we have Denise Nicole Devin, or DND for short. Skip ahead a little bit for that long ass entrance. <clears throat> Yay! And 
And here comes Crazy D's wife, Cassie, making her corruption debut. This is her second title opportunity. In 24 hours. Here we go, Emi. Who's it going to be next? Who's next? Well, the fans know who it is, and they're happy. It's the fan favorite, the Herpes Factory herself, coming at you from a street corner near you, Coco. For $50, Ouch. you get five minutes, because that's all it takes with her. Her vagina's looser than letting a five-year-old tie their own shoe. Ain't that right, Emi? If you look closely on her trunks, it's in the front. It says Golden Ace was here, pointing with an arrow pointing down. But Coco is one of the favorites to win this. From Mexico, we have Sarah Del Rey. <clears throat> the legend herself. Let's see how Sarah Del Rey is going to deal with this match. She's already got some nice assets on display for us. Get a good view of them, Emi. <clears throat> I'm getting a good view. We'll see who comes out the picture. In the better room. Ow! Well, here we go. You talk about a great. We got some pioneering, and why it's still not in black and white, I don't know. But it's Mildred Burke. I set that whole entrance to black and white. Here comes Mildred Burke, and, um, and the host, John, I did not want to see her. No, I didn't want to see the fact that her entrance wasn't in black and white, like I changed it to. And up next, we go from the pioneer to one of our own cultivated, Miriam, the queen of the side boob, as you can see right there. Hailing from, as her shirt says, Brazil. Take 
taking a sweet time down to the ring. And up next is Becky Lynch, who we're also fast forwarding through. And next is the last entry and my personal favorite to win this match. Miss Fear. And the moment that she gets an opportunity at that women's title, she's taking it. Miss Fear is here and she is not. Lynch and Miriam fighting on one corner. Miss Fear's own tag partner is going after her now. Cole Devin may actually be the one to eliminate this fear. seeing Becky and Miriam. Maybe Anna Nicole and Mildred Burke are going to be a tag team now. This 
atmosphere has Mildred Burke out of there. One of the only women that ever could actually defeat Miss Fear. And ironically, they're sisters. Miriam trying to hang on, but... Oh, Mir Miriam does, but Anna Nicole Devlin right on her. some fight in her though. Now all the fight that you want. The sister is still going to take this. Oh no. It's over. No it's not. What are you doing right there? You could have stopped her right there. D that was the DND drive. Devin got her with a knee. It's over. We have a new number one contender. That woman is a scary, scary opponent. saw Miriam fought, <clears throat> fought hard, harder than anyone, but she couldn't put down, but she couldn't put down Nicole. And up next, motherfucker, we have another promo, Nighthawk trying to recover his losses tonight.
<clears throat> as he might say, you lost. Goodbye. Nighthawk has something to say, and everybody better listen. Good, because you're doing the promo for him. You were James's co-host. He's your mentor. Start to so you got to talk for Nighthawk. <clears throat> uh, this company ain't nothing without Becky. Uh, everybody else sucks. We need all. We only need Becky. We need two cops. This company is nothing without Becky. Everybody else sucks. We, we need like all 100 cars should be Becky Lynch and only Becky Lynch. He may have lost tonight, but Nighthawk will bounce back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Keep the promo. Hey, look, Crazy D came out. Didn't even know that was a call out. Oh, the clown. I'm sorry. Oh, no. And up next, Sarah Bella Massassa's coming out because apparently people want to talk tonight. And Emi, Sarah Bella Massassa's got something he wants to say. Okay. That is, he has a world heavyweight title shot for a year anytime he wants. Okay. <clears throat> so anytime the world champion's present, he can take his title shot. Okay. I can see you lying me over there, dummy. Why don't you just stay in the ring, make your point, and get over with your match? Uh, you don't know it's a match. It's a call out. He's coming out here tonight with his briefcase in hand or no? Skipping ahead, of, skipping ahead of that long entrance. He says he demands competition tonight. To anybody in the back that has the balls to take on the number one contender. And Jushin Thunder Liger's the one that answers. How in the world do you put a, a beard on brain matter? That's all I want to know. Like, seriously. How do you put what? How do you put be, uh, how do you put a beard on brain matter? By backing it out of more brain matter. Mm. Jushin Thunder Liger, the Jap, the ju the greatest junior heavyweight of all time, accepted this challenge. Jushin Thunder Liger has been heralded as one of the top stars of this brand. The back and forth brawling.
<clears throat> Look at the viciousness of Cerebellum Assassin, Emai. Just the underlying it all stand a chance. That is a legend, but he does not stand a chance. He's fighting, but Cerebellum hitting him from different angles, going after that neck. Cerebellum going to work now. for the Death Valley driver. Busting open Jushin Thunder Liger. And that's it. Cerebellum Assassin wins the match. That Death Valley driver was it. It's over. Just the Thunder Liger did not stand a chance. He started off trying to out, trying to brawl with Cerebellum, but it just went downhill. And now Cerebellum Assassin. Chair, that's a concerto to the neck. Cerebellum Assassin tried to break his neck. Why do we seriously need this Manami Toyota promo? Underneath the water. Up next is Manami Toyota. Manami Toyota says she's going to defend that title with honor tonight. And that she's going to show the Japanese tradition that women can hit just as hard, if not harder, than the men. <clears throat> Manami Toyota puts her title on the line tonight. Again, in the rematch against Akane Yamamoto. Who do you give it to, Emai, the for, the for, the former champion or Manami Toyota? Manami Toyota.
You gotta realize when Akane Yamamoto gets focused, that's how she won the title. She absolutely mowed through everyone. I get that, but the champion is going to defend this title tonight with honor, she says. She has no reason, no choice but to retain. You gotta think, if Akane Yamamoto goes back to that dark place where it becomes her obsession, it could be a problem for Minami Toyota. We could. We will see. Well, here comes a Yukane. Here she is, Manami Toyota. Toyota, Akane Yamamoto and her not wasting any time. this match because the referee getting in the way and Akane Yamamoto now gets the advantage of officially start this match and you know Manami Toyota is actually in her ring gear the match should have ended but you decided to restart it I'm not going to rob these good people of a match that referee got in the way Look at this. Cheat to win, huh? 
I told you I restarted the match because these two women were fighting hard. Back and forth, and the match hadn't even started yet. I'm going to give these good people what they came to pay to see. Manami's finish. There's the buzz killer. But Akane knew that wasn't enough. She got the ref. There's the chair shot. But you know what? The ref didn't see it. So it's all legal. And on this brand, anything goes anyway. So even if it was called into play, they wouldn't do a damn thing about it because nobody cares here. Akane Yamamoto has regained the Phoenix Queens Championship. You can tell she's not happy with the ref. The Phoenix Queen is back on her perch and she earned that win. Steel chair or not, fan appreciation or not, it's hers, not Minami's. What do you got to say, Drake? She's a cheater. She is a fair and balanced opponent. She cheated to win. Hey, Essie. It doesn't matter, Essie. You can lie, you can cheat, and you can still utterly everybody loved him for it. She She lied. She cheated. She stole. But you know what? She still wrestled too. And all that matters to me is wins. AC Smooth. 14 and a half month world championship reign that cannot be topped. Did he play fair? Nope. But he won and he stayed champion. Didn't he, Emi? Yeah. Maybe you should take that yeah, into consideration. Maybe if you stopped trying to play by this code of honor that nobody but you cares about, maybe you'd get ahead. You're talented, but playing fair isn't gonna get, isn't gonna keep you on top forever. Golden Ace can do it because he's the ace. Ricky Mass versus Brian Cage here in the main event. Ricky Mass 
trying to get this big win here. You want to get in the ring with Ricky Mass? Uh, no. I came here to commentate, not wrestle. Ricky Mass takes Brian Cage for a spin. And he's going for another spin. Sat Big Mass spin. One, two, oh, Brian Cage, no. Ricky Bass is strong, but Brian, but Brian Cage is also strong. So he's not going to go down easy. Say nothing. Did you see anything, Emi? Yes, I seen it. Mass again with the mass spin. chair. It's in the ring right next to him. He told the referee to shut up with it.
<clears throat> Any questions or comments, Emi? He busted Brian Cage open with a steel chair, Emi. He was just beating the hell out of Brian Cage. He's sending a message. And he does, he is the, and I quote, tacos in the bank hold, briefcase holder, Emi. And he has a brand title shot, which means you, La Parca, or the freak. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of Corruption. We'll be back later tonight with Countout. We'll be back with Emi. With Emi, actually, Emi won't be joining us. It'll be uh, Touring and uh, Heel for the top 20. I have no fucking clue. But we'll be back for some kind of Countout tonight. We actually are doing that. All of you have a good night. I hope you enjoyed the top 50 greatest women. <clears throat> and, you know, now we're going back to those 20s. Uh, Emi, good talk. Later, ladies and gentlemen.